Exposure to free radical activity is an inevitable part of life. Free radicals are molecules that are missing an electron and look to replace that electron by scavenging from other molecules in the body. When this happens, damage to the cell's DNA can occur. Our bodies are constantly exposed to free radicals as a consequence of metabolism and our environment. Environmental pollution, lifestyle choices, poor diet, insufficient exercise, mental stress, and even just breathing all may contribute to high amounts of free radicals in your body. A good example of free radical damage can be seen when an apple is exposed to the air. The half that doesn't have any protection turns brown, which indicates decay caused by free radical damage. However, coating an exposed area of the apple with lemon juice will neutralize the free radicals. The human body combats free radical damage in a similar way, by producing antioxidants naturally. These molecules help prevent cellular damage by neutralizing free radicals. Although the body produces some antioxidants, it relies on dietary sources for the rest. You absolutely have to have antioxidants in order to have proper metabolism and have things balanced between uh, oxygen metabolism and being exposed to uh, stress from the environment. It's essential to have uh, free radicals for metabolism, but if too many of them are produced, you get tissue damage, and that tissue damage can accumulate with age. Unfortunately, some people do not eat enough foods that are high in antioxidants. So what's the solution? What can people do to protect themselves? There are four important factors that can contribute to people's overall antioxidant status. Proper nutrition from the food they consume, lifestyle choices such as where they live and how they live, body composition, and supplementation. Many people just don't eat the recommended daily allowance of fruits and vegetables, and others can't avoid stressful lifestyles. Some of us can find maintaining proper body composition a challenge. Nutritional supplements can help fill the nutritional gaps and shore up our protection. However, the choice of supplements can be overwhelming. How do you know if you even need to supplement? And if you do, how can you tell that the supplements you are taking actually work? The answer is this, the Pharmanex Biophotonic Scanner. This device can provide you with a painless, non-invasive, fast and convenient way to determine your antioxidant status. The Biophotonic Scanner can show you whether supplements are giving you the antioxidants you need. The Pharmanex Biophotonic S3 Scanner gives you a skin carotenoid score that measures the carotenoid antioxidant level in your skin. In less than a minute, you can find out if your supplements are giving you the antioxidant protection you need for optimal nutritional support. We do not believe in guessing when it comes to nutrition at Pharmanex. We are using scientific research to support better health and help others to lead a life full of vitality. Pharmanex is the difference demonstrated in our research, in our technology, and in our products, because improving your life is our number one mission. The exclusive Biophotonic S3 scanner functions on the principle of scattered light called resonant Raman spectroscopy. The S3 scanner is the result of years of research and experience with the science of antioxidant detection. In the past, the only way to access this technology was by using complicated, expensive scientific equipment that only existed in specialized labs. But now, thanks to Pharmanex, this same technology can be used in your home or office. Unlike other antioxidant testing methods, the Biophotonic Scanner is easy to use and non-invasive, making it completely painless. It gives you an indication of your personal antioxidant status by measuring carotenoids in the skin right at the site of action. I encourage you to take charge of your health today. The first step is to learn your skin carotenoid score. If it isn't as high as it should be, supplement your diet with Pharmanex products while making healthier diet and lifestyle choices. And in a few months, get another scan. When you see an improved score, I think you will know that the products are making a difference in your body. You will have the confidence to know that your body is getting what it needs. Now you have become the difference demonstrator.
It's the disease that you fear most, cancer. And your ability to fight it lies in one of the biggest buzzwords in health, antioxidants. Today, we're fighting the war on cancer with prevention, antioxidant prevention. And I'm sharing my cancer-fighting antioxidant all-stars, the three most important ones you need to help you prevent cancer. Do you have enough? That's why our audience is wearing these different colors. The ultimate nutritional lie detector test. This revolutionary device, it's lying right here next to me, measures the level of carotenoids in your skin. Hurt you to get? All right. Good, good. I haven't had mine yet, I'm having it next. So we're gonna see if it hurts me. But it takes about 90 seconds, and I am sta completely astounded by these results. Let me come on over here, we're gonna show it to everybody. So, if you look at the, this, is, this is how it's supposed to be read out, by the way. We've got lowest to highest, 10,000 up to 50,000 units, right? Or, or, or these figures give us a rough idea. You wanna be up here in the blues, now, let's see how you did. Are you ready? I don't want to see any reds, any oranges. Let's see the numbers for the audience. You're all down here. Can I, you're a cross section of everyone watching the show right now. Let me just go through these because it completely blew my mind. We have almost 40% of the audience in the lowest category possible. I actually didn't think we'd find anybody there. Not naively thought that at least we're getting enough of these antioxidants into our bodies, they wouldn't be there. Another 40% had the orange category, which is still, to me, a, a dangerously low level. And we only had a total of about 6% ha having greens and blues. Put your hands up if you're greens and blues. Let me just see. It's like, congratulations, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so the question then becomes, you know, why is it they're having these problems? And it's not surprising because we're getting, on average, about two to three servings of fruit per day and vegetables. It's not enough. And we know that. We, what do we talk about? Five, seven, nine, big numbers of servings, fistful size. So I haven't had the test yet. So before I give you a hard time, let's see how I'm doing. Uh, ready to go? Yes, ready. All right. And that's really why I do this. Uh, talk to me about antioxidants. What foods have them? How can f folks find them, even if they don't know the chemical names? Well, you can certainly get antioxidants in pill form. 75,000. Uh, now, listen. Did not do that to show off. <laughs> Although I know it sounds like that. Uh, I did that because I eat the things that all of you could be eating. I don't do anything fancy. I'm as busy as you are. I just made it part of my life to eat the kinds of foods we're going to talk about today. It's that.